Uh, Robert, congratulations. First Thank winner you. tonight at the World Seniors. Just being up there on that famous stage must have been a great thing. It's amazing that this is only the second time I've ever been here. I mean, the last time it was 13 years ago. <laughs> Phil Taylor beat me in the final in the Players' Championships. And to be back here and playing and actually opening a major tournament like this, I'm one of the proudest men in the world. Tell you what, I bet it hasn't changed much in those 13 years. The, the crowd is still right by the stage and it's a, it's a oh, tough Oh, it ain't changed. Definitely not. I mean, you can reach out and touch them, do you know what I mean? It's, but that makes for the atmosphere. That's, do you know what I mean? It's, the crowd's absolutely brilliant. So they don't jump up on the stage and they give you the respect. They're right there, but that far away from you. And they're absolutely brilliant. And you must be really pleased with the performance. I'm not sure what the average was in the end, but the, the scoring power was, was right the, there. The scoring was there. The doubles I need to work on a little bit. And I was kind of losing one or two darts, but it, it, it's one of them, it swings in roundabouts. So if it's going to go in, it's going to go in. If it doesn't, well. And a word on Bob Anderson, 74 years of age and playing like that. It was great to see him get a 180 in the last leg. Of course it was. To be honest with you, I thought he was going to hit a couple because he was on for a couple. And he, he kind of pulled his last dart. And when he had that last one, I mean, you've got to give a man respect. You know what I mean? He's, he's an icon. And you're going into this tournament as one of the contenders right up there with Phil and Martin Adams is up there as well. Do you see yourself as a, as a real contender in this tournament? Listen, if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Simple. If I was just going to turn, turn up and play and get beat, I wouldn't be here. Okay. I want to win it, same as everybody else does. Congrats, Robert, you were knocking in 180s for fun there, even on the 9 there at one point. If you keep up that level, you're going to be tough to beat, aren't you, this weekend? If I can keep my scoring power up and stay in front of people, yeah, I'll give myself a couple of shots at doubles, but... I know, I've been practising my finishing lately and my, on the practice board my finishing is pretty good and sometimes when I'm up on the stage I think about it too much so what I need to try and do is kind of stop me thinking a little bit and just go for it. Do you think your match sharpness is going to help you coming into this? You've seen you play a lot of darts already in the show so far. To be honest with you, no, not really because if you think about it, there's the B, uh, WDF's got tournaments going and Everybody else is going to have match practice, so no, not really. I mean, it's, it's not going to be a benefit. What's going to be a benefit is your mindset. Scottish Darts is in a real good place at the minute. Obviously, you've got a Scottish World Champion. Are you looking to keep up that feel good factor and maybe be the Scottish World Seniors Champion? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Shitting on me mantelpiece if I had one. <laughs> no, I'm always like, no, it shit on my table nice if I, if I want it. My wife wouldn't be happy though, she'd have to dust it. Some people might see this as a bit of an exhibition, bit of fun, but it's serious stuff, isn't it? I mean, £30,000 to the winner, that's serious money we're playing for. Listen, where in the world are you going to get paid £30,000 to do an exhibition? This ain't no exhibition, this is a serious tournament. Everybody wants to win it, everybody wants their name on that trophy. This ain't no exhibition.